gonna stop at the racks. Got a rack sitting out here. We'll see what's in here. If there's anything we have to have. Oh, those are really nice. I like those. Yep, those are good. The Vionics. Oh, and I stopped at the rack and they had a green Kate Spade um, and a little wallet. So I did grab those. And now we're now we're off shopping. Let's see what we can find. Those Cole Hans are, they're nice, but I'm worried that the insides are starting to, you can see the insides are starting to bubble up. So I think I'll have to leave those behind. Croft and Barrow. What about these back here? Oh, these are Hey Dudes. Um, you know, I bought a pair of Hey Dudes recently. I, I, I'm, I think they're probably still in the store, um, but I'm gonna toss them in the cart just to, just to, you know, take a look. But all in all, oh, okay, well, these are cute. I take the fries, those are fries right there. And I think I'm gonna start over here first. This is, it's quiet here. The, the store is much busier today. Okay, so this is a Dooney and Burke. Um, I'm concerned. Actually, it's very clean. So you know what? I might take that. If I have a coupon, I might take that one. So I'm gonna put that in the cart. I still, remember, I still have to check the insides of all this stuff. You know, even if the outside looks good and the bottom looks good, it, you still have to check the rest of it. That's a cute, this is like a cute belt bag, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't feel very good. So I'm gonna keep looking over here. Here is a little um, ATN Agner. This is the the um, the, the blood the blood um, blood red color. The ox blood. Sorry, ox blood. That was what I was trying to come up with, and I will put that in my cart. And I will keep on looking. Oh, you know what? Someone must have um, now. See, this one has a little more damage, but here's another one. This one just doesn't. Um, doesn't look as nice as that one. What is this in the back though? That is a sack root. I really like the colors, um, depending on how the inside, the inside doesn't look too bad. I'm not sure if this is considered a purse or a duffel, but I will put it in the cart and we will find out. Now, I recently, actually sold this pattern in the Vera Bradley. These are the owls, the night owls. This is actually, I really do like this. This is a big messenger bag. Um, so I think that is gonna definitely go in the cart. Yeah, I do think that'll go in the cart. All right, and we have the little Vera's. We'll come back this way. And look, it looks like they have stocked their shelves. So they must have gotten in. Oh, that's pretty. That's um, that's Diane von Furstenberg. Um, it's a big like laptop duffel. Um, they don't really sell that great for me, so I don't I don't take those anymore. But they, it is a nice bag. It's just it's not something I want to take. And this is kind of has an interesting look, but it it doesn't feel good once you kind of pick it up and grab it. So I am having to check in here because you never know what they're gonna tuck tuck away in here. See that doesn't have a good feel to it. I can see there's another one, another little Vera Bradley back there. There's somebody must have uh, dropped off a bunch of their their Vera Bradley, which is really nice. But um, it's not gonna. You know, I, I'm choosy with it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be choosy with that. That doesn't feel good. This one is see this one right here is leather, but it just doesn't have just doesn't have a lot of appeal to it. So 
I think we'll come over here and we will check the um, here's a Scala hat um, oh this one's got some damage right there so I'm not going to take that so I'm actually going to put that one back come over here and see if we see any um, sling bags or, or anything like that see any sling bags. I think I'm going to go start over here in the um, in the shoes and then it looks like they I thought I uh, saw some racks that had gone out in the back so we'll we'll definitely go back there and look to see what we can find and you know let me check the um, oh those are uh, Mini Tonkas, those are cute, but I don't think I'll get something I want. Oh, see, these cold Hans are really nice. But these are definitely a smaller size men's. They are nice though. You know, I will, I think I will put them in the cart since they didn't mark them up. And I will come back and we will look at those. But I, I wanted to come and take a look at belts. I've actually bought some, some, some nicer belts recently, so. Come and look at the belts. Come on over here too. That's nice. Okay, well, we did take a little look through at the belts. So let's walk through the shoes and see if we um, find anything in the shoes. I, I shy away from the Skechers even though I know they, they, they're, they're nice looking. And the reason is, is I've, I've noticed they, they've been damaging easily. Like the when you bend them and stuff like that, like they're not, um, oh, excuse me they're not staying together very well. So I haven't been um, picking up Skechers. Let's see anything there. Okay, let's try this side. Oh, here's a pair of Brooks. Let's, let's look for the telltale tell, tell sign to see if they have rips in them. Because that's usually what happens as soon as I pick up. Now, see, these don't have any rips in them. I will, um, I'll put those in the cart. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. It really does. Think, you know what? There's something wrong with the insole on them. So I think I'm going to put those back. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but there's definitely something wrong. Those are some basses. Those are some Earth Origins. It is loud in here, so I apologize if you guys are can't hear me very well. Carl will decide later if I need to um, if I need to do a um, a voiceover. It's hard for me to tell in the store. I just know it's loud, but when he goes back and looks at it, he, he can tell immediately if I need to do that. What are these? Hmm, these are okay, but not my favorites. What about these? What are these? San Francisco. Oh, it's Gap. Those are Gaps. They're cute. For a while I was buying a lot of boots and, and I don't feel like I've been picking up a lot of boots lately. These are actually Skechers. I think I've seen those before. And we'll just come back on this side. I 
These are a pretty color. What are these? Nobles. Okay. I've sold these um, shoes before in men's. But you know what? These are actually a little more worn, I think. A little more worn than I think I'm going to go with. But um, I have I have done those before. So we'll come on over here. Sorry if you can hear my phone. I can hear my phone dinging in here, but I know it's... Um... Will someone please bring some boxes to the front? Will someone please bring some boxes let me, let me turn this off for just a second, just so I can hear what's going on. All right, we're back in the carts. I did... Um, I didn't find anything. I didn't grab anything else at the... Um, that's kind of pretty. Um, I didn't grab anything else at the um, in the shoes, so now I'm over at looking at the the cart. Darth Bear is a little bit worn. I did get a little um, polar bear out of the cart. Um, oh, that's cute. You know what? I'm going to grab that for my husband. Um, I'll put it in the cabinet. That's absolutely one of my favorite shows. It says there's two of them. So let me see if I can find the other one. Oh, there is two of them. Yeah, I'm going to put those in the cover because you know what? There's, um, that'll be something fun for, for he and I to have. So now we got all of this, um, Christmas stuff. I mean, seriously, they have overloaded the Christmas stuff. Um, and I do see a bunch of Ray Dunn and stuff. Nothing in that grouping. Um, oh, okay. I will stop and look at some of this because believe it or not, some of these can do pretty well. Let me see if there's any snowflake ones or Christmas ones. So I'm not sure if I'm going to take this one, but I, I might. Because, like I said, the Christmas ones um, do pretty well. And I will, I will open it up and make sure it's all in there, too. Excuse me. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. All right, somebody's got a little piece right there. I'll come over here and see. This looks like it's all greenery and stuff. And let me see if there's anything in there. Pie crust shields. Oh, that's kind of nice. You can put that on the outside of your pie crust so that they don't burn. Well, they did put out a bunch of um, carts and stuff like that. I'm not... Um, seeing too much over here but it is nice to have all these parts and I'm, I'm a little late later today so they seem to have oh that one's pretty too cake basket Martha Stewart crafts you know I'm gonna put a couple of these in because even if I lock them together um, they might do okay my arcade clue Ted Lasso oh it's a party it's a game okay so what are these down here simply charmed yeah sometimes when you get some of these older ones um, they can have some some good value oh see I like the Halloween too one too so I am just you know there's no reasoning behind what I'm grabbing I'm just grabbing a, a random selection of them and I'll see if I uh, if I hit the jackpot with any of them so that'll just give me a little extra time to have to go through everything and check in for different mugs or collector mugs while I'm over here. Oh, this guy's really pretty. Okay, so he's not, um, 
So sometimes, like when I, when I'm over here, I see a a mug that might be a collectible or something, but I'm not seeing any right now. That guy's kind of cute too, but his little nose looks like it's a little broken. So I think what we'll do is we'll walk through the Christmas stuff over here, and then I'm probably just going to. Um, That's cute, the bungalow. Little reindeer planter. Oh, so these are um, these are Wachter glasses. If I said that incorrectly, I completely apologize, but that's what these are. Um, I don't know what the glasses go for, but the um, dishes always are, are really nice. Now we're gonna come over here and see what they have. This guy's kind of interesting. Maybe he does something or he's musical. I'm not really sure. All I know is, is I can't figure out what he does, but he, he is a little more expensive. So I think I'm just going to keep on going. No, este. 24 cierran y 25, 26 en mi día de descanso. Okay. Oh. Here's another cart. Let's see if we see anything in here. Victorian Christmas. Ya vienen las cajas donde dan algo de voladito, va. Ya vienen. Ya vienen, ya. So I am going to start over here in the Christmas aisle today. Not sure what I'm going to... Not sure what I'm going to find over here. <clears throat> I'm going to make sure and look for the bags too in case there's any ornament bags or anything down here i haven't um i haven't seen any um carts yet so i don't know if we're gonna see any of those today but we'll we'll try Put that in the cart. That's blue sky. All right, let's see what else we have up here. Oh, so I have the bigger one of this. That's really cute, too. I like that one. I, I have the big one at home. Okay. Those look really nice and it is discount day so I I'm sure I will probably take those 
Um, these green ones are pretty, but I don't think these are, uh, these look like one of those generic ones. <clears throat> oh, well, here you go. Okay, so these always will go with me. These are a nice pair of Allen Edmonds. Um, I don't know what they've marked them at. Oh, yep. Yep, that's a great price. So we're, we're taking the Allen Edmonds. Um, as far as like resale value when it comes to shoes, especially men's shoes, Allen Edmonds are, are a pretty good winner. Now see, these are really nice. These are an Air Force One. These are black. These are Nikes. Um, they're very deluxe looking. Actually, they look very new too. I don't know much about, I mean, I've sold Air Force Ones before, the white ones, um, you know, some of the older vintage ones, but I don't think I've sold a black pair. So we'll just look and see those. Oh, look how cute these little coaches are. Uh, but they're totally worn on the front. That's too bad. Yeah, and the insides are totally, totally pulling away. So we'll have to leave those, but that's a shame. Got a big pair of Timberlands over here. These almost look like these are in a really nice shape too. That might be like a work shoe. Some universal threads. Good morning, honey. How are you? Or good afternoon. <laughs> I'll see you in a few. <laughs> All right, she's such a nice girl that works here. Walter Hagen. Now these might be, okay now, I'm not much of a golfer, but these might be a golf shoe is what I think. So, boy. Well, I really didn't grab too much out of here, but keep in mind I haven't been over to the shelves yet even. So maybe we'll walk on from this and we'll see what's over here. I think I do stop at these bins and look too, see if I see anything I have to have. Keep on going. Now, well, what do these look like up here? We got some men's hats. Those are some totes, some totes hats. I don't think those are ones that I'm gonna want, but I, I am looking for other types of things in here. Okay. Here's all the wallets and stuff. Oh. Yeah. Nothing in there. Nothing in there, really. But we'll walk down and see. Oh, here's a really pretty sack. Now, see, that's really pretty in red with the, um, with the leather, um, with the leather handle, but I'm, I, I still don't think it's gonna have, it's just not gonna have much value. That's, even though it's pretty, it's different too. Something looks odd. Like that, this doesn't look like it's a match. I think that's what it is. I don't think that's a match. I think something was switched along the line. So, with that being said, I'm just gonna keep on looking. 
We got some toys over here. Well, these are either a combination of Monster High, Rainbow Highs. I don't really know the difference. Oh, that one's pretty too. What is that? Oh, honey, you can't. Authentic McCallum. Oh, okay. So, um, this is actually Pendleton, and it is the um, tartan plaid. I do love it. Um, you know, the Pendleton is such a classic when it comes to this stuff. This one is probably a Pendleton as well. It is. Um, and I bet you this one might be as well. Let me see. No, that one is not. So I got two out of the three Pendleton skirts. I don't sell a lot of clothes, but I've always done well with Pendleton wool jackets with wool um, caps with wool pieces so um, I will get those and those will those will go on the cart I don't know how much they are but oh they're $4.99 so when they're $4.99 you really can't beat that that's a good price it's a good price so we'll just keep on looking at this stuff I think we'll go look at the shoes too I'm going to go check the shoes. Okay. Those are pretty. Those look older, though. Those are probably an old Mac Studio. These are looking pretty worn over here. Yeah, the shoes are looking pretty worn. I sure didn't find much in that run, did I? recap of all of the things I got. So on Sunday, we did hit a, an estate sale. We actually hit a couple. We didn't get much, but I will show you what I did get. Um, I did get a pair of uh, Splendid Shoes. Um, I got a Mickey Mouse um, Vintage Walt Disney World visor. I did get a couple of Swarovski ornaments and a Patricia Nash purse. I also got a little Ireland um, teddy bear and a uh, some Lennox pineapple ornaments. Um, and I did get a camera. Um, I'm still testing that to see if it works. I have a feeling it's gonna need a new battery because 
it's not charging properly. So that's something I'll have to work on too. So I also went out today and it's Monday and I hit some more stores. I actually got some really interesting items. I got a beautiful Orvis. This is a very long wool blue um, overcoat. Um, really nice condition and that was a $29.99 and then they gave me a discount on top of that. I did get a pair of black Air Force One um, shoes. I got a pair of New Balance. I did get some Vionics. I got a pair of Cole Hans, a pair of really nice Allen Edmonds. Um, these little yellow sneakers are actually Fry. I got some Hey Dudes, uh, some Zodiacs. I did get some Wachterbach um, Christmas tree glasses. I did get a couple of Cricut pieces. Um, they'll probably get lotted together just because of, you know, they're not worth much on their own, but I think they'll do okay lotted together. Um, I did get this Dooney and Burke purse. Um, it was actually a really good price, so um, I picked that up. I got this Vera Bradley crossbody, this owl print. Um, this owl print is, is um, does really well, So and it's a bigger, like a messenger bag. Um, I did get this wallet. I'm really not sure who made it, but the color, I really, really like the color. So um, I did, did grab that. Um, I got two Pendleton skirts here, two wool skirts. I always do well with the Pendleton, um, the plaid, the tartan plaids and stuff like that. So um, I picked those up. Um, they were each $4.99 and I did get a nice discount on those. You know, I haven't looked up the price on any of that yet. So um, in fact, a lot of this stuff I really haven't looked up the price on. But some of the things are things that I, I sell quite often. So it's not something I would really, you know, need to look up. Um, I did get two uh, Swarovski um, ornaments. Um, these actually, I actually paid, I paid a little more than I probably wanted to for these. I paid $16 a piece, um, but I've already listed them and they list anywhere from $49 to $59 basically. Um, so, you know, I kind of figured, well, it is what it is. So I took, added those into the eBay store, um, early this morning. So all in all, um, yesterday with the, uh, things that I bought, um, at the estate sales and this and that, I spent about $50. So, but that was for these ornaments and then a few other little things that Carl and I got. Mostly everything else was like a dollar, like literally they were a dollar. Um, so, you know, that's what I spent yesterday. And then today, all of the things I got today, I spent about $200. Um, and that was for the really nice overcoat, the Air Force Ones. Um, all the shoes and, and all the, the extra stuff and the Dooney and Burke. So, um, you know, today I, I spent about 200. I have a feeling, um, that jacket alone is probably going to be the big ticket item. Um, it's made by Orvis, made in Austra uh, Austria, uh, extremely nice quality, um, long overcoat, uh, really kind of a fancy one. So that's that's um, what I found, and once again, I really appreciate everyone watching. Oh, and I did get Frasier mugs. They they had two of them, and I'm such a sucker for um, the TV show Frasier, so I did get those two mugs. Carl and I will probably keep those, but, um, you know, I am, I am a sucker for Frasier. But as usual, thank you so much for watching. We really, truly do appreciate it. We love seeing your comments. If you have something to say or have a question, you know, we'd love to hear from you. And as usual, please like and share if you haven't. And absolutely, if you have not, please subscribe. Um, it really does help us. So I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.